Ever wondered about the history of the hot dog? Let's take a flavorful journey back in time to the culinary heartlands of Europe where our story begins. In the narrow cobblestone streets of Frankfurt, Germany, a distinct aroma wafted through the air. It was the smell of sizzling sausages, a staple in German cuisine. These weren't just any sausages, but Frankfurters, named after the city itself. A blend of pork, beef, and sometimes veal. They were carefully encased in sheep's intestines, smoked, and then boiled to perfection. Parallel to this, in the imperial city of Vienna, Austria, a similar culinary story was unfolding. The Viennese had their own version of the sausage, the Wiener, a softer, smokier variant crafted with a unique blend of spices. This delightful competition between Frankfurt and Vienna gave birth to two of the most famous sausages in the world. Interestingly, these sausages were typically served in a slice of bread or a roll. This was not just a culinary choice, but a practical one. The bread served as a sort of edible napkin, keeping one's hands clean while enjoying the sausage. But it wasn't just about the sausage or the bread. The ritual of eating these sausages was a social event, a moment of togetherness. Whether it was in the bustling markets of Frankfurt or the elegant cafes of Vienna, people gathered around to relish these delicious treats, sharing stories and laughter, creating memories. The humble origins of the hot dog lie in these two European cities with their Frankfurters and Wieners. However, the journey of the hot dog was far from over. It was about to cross the Atlantic and find a new home in the streets of America. The sausage was set to evolve into something more than just a food item. It was going to become a symbol, an icon, a quintessential part of the American culinary experience. So, the hot dog began its journey as a sausage in Europe, but it was yet to become the iconic American food we know today. How did the hot dog make its way to the shores of America? A tale of cultural fusion. The journey of the hot dog to America is as flavorful as the hot dog itself. The story begins in the 19th century with the influx of German immigrants to the United States. Among their suitcases and dreams, they carried with them a culinary treasure, the Frankfurter, a sausage in a bun, which would eventually evolve into the hot dog we know and love today. The German immigrants were a hard-working lot, and many set up small businesses to lend a taste of their homeland to their new country. Butcher shops, bakeries, and beer halls began to appear in American neighborhoods, and it wasn't long before the Frankfurter found its way onto American streets. Enter Charles Feltman, a German butcher with a flair for innovation. Feltman, like many of his compatriots, had journeyed to the land of opportunity in search of a better life. He set up shop in Coney Island, New York, but Feltman had a vision beyond the ordinary. He saw an opportunity to serve the masses with a quick, affordable and delicious meal, the Frankfurter. In a stroke of genius, he decided to put the sausage in a bun making it easy to eat on the go, this was a game changer. It was the perfect food for the bustling streets of New York. The Frankfurter, now known as the hot dog, became a sensation almost overnight. Feltman's innovation caught on and soon hot dog stands started to pop up all over the city. The hot dog had found a new home in America embraced by its people for its simplicity, affordability and mouth-watering taste. But the journey was far from over. The hot dog was yet to undergo several transformations, adapting to the changing tastes and preferences of the American people. And thus, the hot dog found a new home in America, but it was still not the hot dog we know today. When did the hot dog become the hot dog we know today? This question may seem simple, but the answer is a fascinating journey through time and taste. In the early days, the American hot dog was a basic affair, a German-style sausage nestled in a bun. But as time went on, people started to experiment with this simple dish, adding their own unique twists and flavors. This led to the creation of a myriad of regional variations, each with its own distinct personality. Take, for example, the Chicago-style hot dog. This Windy City favorite is a colorful ensemble of yellow mustard, bright green relish, fresh chopped onions, juicy red tomato wedges, a crisp pickle spear, two sport peppers, and a dash of celery salt all piled onto a steamed poppy seed bun. Then, there's the New York-style hot dog, a minimalist masterpiece featuring a snappy all-beef frankfurter, steamed onions, and a smear of deli-style yellow mustard. There are countless other variations too, from the chili and cheese slathered dogs of Detroit to the slaw-topped Franks of West Virginia. The hot dog's evolution wasn't just about toppings, though. 
As it embedded itself in American culture, it found a home in one place in particular, the baseball stadium. There's something iconic about the image of a baseball fan, perched in the stands with a hot dog in one hand and a cold drink in the other. It was the German immigrants who first introduced the hot dog to baseball games in the late 19th century. The snack was an instant hit, not just for its taste, but for its convenience. Easy to eat and easy to hold, it was the perfect food for fans to munch on as they watched the game. Today, the hot dog is as much a part of baseball as the seventh inning stretch or the roar of the crowd. It's a symbol of American leisure, a culinary tradition passed down through generations. So, the hot dog evolved from a simple sausage to a beloved American snack with countless variations. Indeed, the story of the hot dog is a story of transformation and adaptation, a testament to the power of culinary creativity. Did you know that the hot dog has been at the center of several controversies? Indeed, our beloved hot dog has been the subject of numerous debates and health concerns. One of the most recurring issues is the health aspect. Critics argue that hot dogs, like many processed meats, are linked to health problems such as heart disease and cancer. The World Health Organization even classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens in 2015. However, proponents argue that, in moderation, hot dogs can be part of a balanced diet. The hot dog has also been the subject of culinary debates. Some purists argue that a true hot dog should only be served with mustard, onions and sauerkraut. On the other hand, others believe in the freedom to experiment, adding everything from ketchup to relish, cheese and even pineapple. This has led to regional varieties such as Chicago's all-beef dogs with a poppy seed bun or New York's steamed dogs with sauerkraut and spicy mustard. Perhaps the most famous controversy surrounding the hot dog is the ongoing debate, is a hot dog a sandwich? This question has sparked heated discussions on social media and even in professional culinary circles. Those who argue that a hot dog is a sandwich point out that it consists of meat served between two pieces of bread, fitting the basic definition of a sandwich. However, others argue that the unique shape and preparation of a hot dog set it apart from the traditional sandwich category. Despite these controversies, the hot dog remains a beloved food item. Whether enjoyed at a baseball game, a backyard barbecue, or a city street cart, the hot dog has proven its resilience. It has become a symbol of American culture and culinary creativity, with each region putting its unique spin on this simple yet delicious food. So, whether you view it as a guilty pleasure, a culinary canvas, or the subject of a semantic debate, one thing is certain. Despite the controversies, the hot dog has managed to maintain its popularity. So where does the hot dog stand today? In the grand theater of American cuisine, the hot dog commands a leading role. It has found a home in the heart of America, becoming a staple at cookouts, baseball games, and 4th of July celebrations. Whether you're at a family gathering, a sports event, or a public fair, it's hard to miss the sizzling aroma of hot dogs on the grill. Hot dogs have infiltrated the American culinary scene to such an extent that they have become synonymous with comfort food. When you think of a hot dog, you're not just thinking about a snack. You're thinking of summer afternoons, of ballpark cheers, of fireworks lighting up the night sky. It's more than a food item, it's a slice of American culture. But the hot dog isn't resting on its laurels. Like any great star, it's constantly reinventing itself to keep up with the times. Enter the era of gourmet hot dogs. These aren't your average dogs. We're talking about hot dogs topped with pulled pork and coleslaw, or wrapped in bacon and smothered with avocado. Gourmet hot dogs have taken the humble sausage in a bun to new culinary heights, proving that there's no limit to creativity when it comes to this American classic. And let's not forget about the rise of vegan hot dogs, as more and more people adopt plant-based diets, the hot dog has adapted to cater to these changing tastes. Vegan hot dogs have opened up a new avenue for people who want to enjoy this traditional treat without compromising their dietary choices. Whether it's a gourmet feast or a vegan alternative, the hot dog continues to evolve, staying relevant and beloved in a rapidly changing food scene. It's a testament to its enduring appeal and versatility. From its humble origins in Germany to its current status as an American icon, the hot dog has certainly had a fascinating journey. And it seems that this journey is far from over. As we look to the future, one thing is certain. The hot dog will continue to be a star, lighting up our grills and our hearts with its irresistible charm.